Alright, so I'm just going to be doing a quick video on how to change the keyboard on this uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T460S. So first what you want to do, you don't need to remove the battery, but you want to turn this over, okay? And then there's this little screw thing on the bottom, just twist it counterclockwise a little bit. Um, so the little, the long part of the line should go from the lock position to the unlock position, okay? Once you do that, flip it back over open it up okay so what you want to do there's these two little notches down here that will help um, if you get a nice sized uh, flathead screwdriver then you can actually use that to kind of um, push this upwards okay so basically you want to slide these out can be a little bit tough but you need to slide it out I like to use my fingernail as you can see and push this okay just the flat end you can also use like a flat pry tool some people don't like that I use fingernails or they don't have fingernails or whatever. So yeah, you can use something thin and um, kind of strong to just pry that. Okay, give me a second. Okay. So after you pry that up, then you'll see there's some small screws under there. So you'll want to use a PH0 screwdriver. And there is one here. Well, you can just look through the holes and see where you see them, but there's another one here. So there's three along this row, and I just twist them until I hear it make a click sound. Okay, and then there's one down here, okay, and then there's two on this bottom row, okay. Hopefully that's all of them. Okay, so once you got all those screws up, you should be able to lift the keyboard up here. If it is stuck, you can try undoing the screws a little bit more. Sometimes they get caught, as you can see. All right, and then you can grab the sides and slowly slide it towards yourself and then flip it up. So you wanna slide it to yourself until this part clears underneath the case, all right? Then you slowly tilt it up like this. Then here you can actually see the keyboard connectors connected like this. So you have to flip these little latches up. It can be a little tricky. Um, but you can use like a little thin pry tool. I just use my fingernail and pop it up like that. Okay. Once you pop them up, then you can pull the cables out. All right. Then you just get the replacement keyboard. Same thing. Um, it makes it easier if you lay the keyboard flat like this to put them in. So at least for one cable. So you put that one cable. This is the keyboard backlight cable. I like to do that, put that cable first and then put the latch down. Try and pull the latch and roll the latch down. You don't want to kind of just pull it straight back because you could pull that plastic um, connector off. All right, after I do that, I like to tilt the keyboard up and then get the keyboard connector because this one has more slack here. And then you can kind of like use your fingers and pinch it a little bit better to guide it into the slot. You can also use like tweezers, but this works really well. Okay, then I use my fingernail to kind of hold the blue tab in place, and then I roll my finger over to flip that latch down. Once you do that, just rotate the keyboard like that, pull it slightly back just to get it underneath behind this part, and then slide that, as you can see, it goes underneath, okay? Then you wanna push this down. When you get the replacement, this, um, what do you call this grid that go, slides up and down? It might not be pushed back right, so make sure you slide that back properly. Okay, after that, I just get the screws. I twist it backwards, and then I kind of pull it around until I feel it goes in the slot. And as you turn it backwards, you can hear it makes the click. That's how you know it's right. And then I loosely tighten that, and then you go to the next one. Same thing, twist it backwards, you hear it click, and then go. All right, and just repeat with all the screws. Okay. And then the middle one down here, right? Then you got the one in this corner down here, and then the one down here. All right, once you got all of them slightly tightened, then you can tighten all of them completely, okay? You don't wanna to use too much force, you don't wanna break them, but just enough that it becomes difficult to hand tighten, okay? Just like that, okay? last one all right so this is the part where you actually need the flathead screwdriver the most because you can't really grab this bar 
So what you want to do is you take the flathead screwdriver and you pull it down. But these little tabs down here, they often like will kind of bulge up. So you have to push them down while you're pulling on this. So while you're pulling on this, I have to like push the keyboard down. Okay. So as you can see, some they don't go in automatically. You kind of help have to help push it down. And once you get that, you can kind of slide a pry tool or your fingernail underneath. And then you can go to this side, same thing. You have to push the little tab down. Sometimes it won't go in by itself, all right? And then after you get all of it out to where you can use your fingernails and go underneath the plastic in front of the keys, then you know you have it seated properly, okay? Then after that, you just close the laptop, flip it back over, get your Phillips uh, PH1 screwdriver again, and then twist this back to the locked position. All right, it only twists a little bit. It doesn't do like a full circle. Um, and that's how you replace the keyboard, all right? So hopefully this video helped you guys. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help others find this video, help them fix their keyboard. And thank you for watching. So as you can see, the computer turns on, the caps lock light, hopefully you can see it, it turns on and off. I'm gonna open a notepad and then just show you that um, the keyboard types okay. But that's one thing you also want to check the whole keyboard because sometimes you might get a defective keyboard or the ribbon cable if you're putting it wrong you might have damaged it or not installed it right so let me see here okay sorry i was typing the password off screen now i'm going to open a notepad oops okay let's see is it on notepad all right so now that I got notepad, I always like to type, oh, this is going to be difficult to show on camera. Okay, how can I do this? Um, uh, I'll, I'll just type it. So usually I'll just type that, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, and then type all the numbers, type all the symbols, everything, make sure, check the backlight, turn the backlight on and off, all of that good stuff. So yeah, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I already tested this keyboard, everything's working good. So hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, if it did, like and subscribe, help others find my videos. And thank you for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye. Oh, and also if you wanted to see a complete disassembly video, I have those videos as well for the T460S. Just search T460S. It's been repaired and you'll find it. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.